Never chase a guy to be with you or for his attention for that matter. It's not worth your time and energy. I get it. When you really like someone, you can't help but text them. You can't help but do all the planning, trying to pursue them over and over again, but they're not reciprocating back. But guess what? This gets freaking exhausting. You will start questioning your worth. You will start doubting yourself. It will start affecting your self-esteem. If someone is not giving you the same amount of energy back to you, If they're not showing you as much interest as you are interested in them, it's not worth your time to chase them. When you chase someone, what does this mean? It means something is running away. Think about it. When we're, for example, chasing a cat down the road, that cat's going to run fast. And it's a similar kind of dynamic in a relationship or someone that we're interested in. If you are chasing something, that means something is running away from you and you don't want this kind of dynamic. It's not a healthy way to start a relationship. And I'm going to get into that in this video, the reasons why. I truly believe a relationship should be like a dance where two people are reciprocating mutual interest in one another. Not one person who's doing all the pursuing, all the pushing, all the planning. This is not sustainable. This will end up leaving the person feeling exhausted, depleted, questioning their self-worth, looking for validation in the other person. And this is not healthy. I want to share with you in this video four things that you should do instead of chasing someone because this is what actually is going to work. And some of these things may surprise you, but honestly, I think it will really help you if you really like someone and you're fed up that they're not showing you the same amount of interest back and you're the one who's doing all the texting, all the planning. Maybe you can consider these things that I'm going to suggest to you in this video. And I hope they can be beneficial to you. The first thing I want you to do is to focus on your own personal growth. Discover yourself. Pour that energy back into yourself. Stop obsessing over this guy. You matter. You are your number one priority. I know when we really like someone, it can be hard to think of anything else, including our own self. The only thing that we want is this person in our life. And we start obsessing over this person. They're the only person we can think of, blah, de, blah, de, blah. We've been there. I've been there. But it's so important that you learn to give yourself time to learn about yourself. Honestly, this will transform your life. Sometimes we don't give ourselves that time to discover who we truly are the things that matter to us, the things that we value, what we want out of life, the way, where we see our life in five years down the line, 10 years down the line. We are so quick to partner with someone. We are so quick to join our life with someone without giving ourselves that chance to discover who we are. I know so many people who don't know themselves, who are in relationships, who haven't given themselves that chance to be with themselves, to discover, to go down that personal development route. They don't know who they are without their other half. And you know what? Some people are okay with that. Fine. I personally think it's healthy to get to know yourself and what you want out of life. Because when you are in that position where you work on your personal development work on yourself, learn your passions, learn your hobbies, fall in love with life. This is what makes you confident. This is what makes you more self-assured about yourself when you know who you are. You will exude this energy that's freaking attractive. It's irresistible. We love people who are self-assured, who know what they want who don't doubt themselves, who trust themselves. And this is what happens when you discover who you are, the things that you want. And I want you 
to allow yourself to give yourself some time to discover what you want the next point never convince a guy to be with you never chase after a guy what should you do instead point number two is to maintain your independence this is so important is to maintain your individuality we can forget so many of us i know when we really like someone especially in the early stages of dating when we really like someone the beginning stages of a relationship we want to spend all our time with this person we obsess over this person we cannot think of anything else sometimes we drop our plans to be with this person we drop our friends to be with this person we forget about the things that we used to like doing our hobbies our passions we put them on the back burner because we want to be with this person this is uh, uh, this is the worst thing that we can do and i've been guilty of this i've done it because when we really like someone it's natural that we want to spend so much time with this person but this is putting ourselves at risk, putting ourselves at risk for being taken for granted. It's so important that you still maintain your individuality and the things that you like doing. Because when you make this person the center of your universe, put everything else on hold, this is going to create a needy relationship it's there's a risk of creating a codependent relationship where you forget who you was and the things that you like you end up pouring all your energy into this person you end up depending on this person for your happiness because you're not getting and filling yourselves filling yourself up from all these other things that you used to enjoy doing time with your friends family your hobbies so you you are now putting pressure and almost suffocating the relationship by making this person the center of your universe the next point to stop chasing after a guy for his attention no 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 what should you do instead you should understand your self worth stop seeking for external validation outside of yourself you don't need that you need to learn to validate yourself start believing that you deserve the care attention and love you want because you do deserve it and you will get, get it but you need to believe it first so often when we start chasing after someone for their attention for their time it means that we've forgotten our worth we've lowered our worth and this really has a hit on our self esteem when we want someone to make us feel good about ourselves you don't need someone to make you feel good remember your strengths remember what you can bring what you can offer to someone in a relationship never forget that it's when we forget ourselves who we are what we can offer that's when we start seeking for attention outside of ourselves and that's when you lose yourself that's when you lose your self worth and your self esteem and your confidence all of these things remember that you are enough just as you are and if you have to chase after someone if someone is, is not respecting you or showing you the same amount of interest back it means they're not the right person for you it's not a reflection of you the minute you have to convince someone to be with you it means that you're not valuing yourself as a person it means that you don't believe that you will find someone who you deserve therefore you have to chase after something but believe it or not if you have to chase some someone to be with you you will forever be chasing in that rela relationship once you are in that relationship you'll be scared to lose them and this is not the kind of relationship that you want to be in where you constantly fear being alone where you constantly have to do things to convince it, convince it, to convince this person to be with you remember that if someone is not showing the same interest back to you if they're not putting in the same amount of effort they're not the person for you the right person for you 
will be compatible with you. They will show you mutual interest back. This is how a healthy relationship starts. The next point, never convince a guy to be with you. Never try and chase for his attention. Never beg him. No. What should you do instead? You should practice detachment. Point number four is to learn to let go and practice detachment. If you can do this one thing, it will be a game changer for you. This is what's going to transform your relationship dynamics and the way you interact with people in many different situations, not just in relationships with boyfriends, anything. So often we want things that we cannot have. And sometimes we try and force something to happen. We try and force a relationship, especially when we have this idea in our head that we need this person in our life. Sometimes when we wait to be happy, or maybe we believe that we only will be happy if we find a partner because there's a part in me that's missing. I need to find my other half. I am incomplete. We tell ourselves all this rubbish that we've been brought up to believe. It's not true. That's another story. But if we tell ourselves these things that we never be happy without finding someone, what ends up happening is when we go on that date, we start future proofing. We start projecting our ideas, what we want from this person. And we put so much pressure on this person to meet our expectation. And then when it doesn't work out, we're so disappointed. We're in despair. We're heartbroken. And then we go down that rabbit hole of something not working out and we're disappointed and then we're distraught. And then the worst thing that can happen, dare I say, is that we question ourselves. We think there's something wrong with me. It must be me. All my friends are married. All my friends are in relationship. There must be something wrong with me. That is just BS. You need to let go of that story. The truth is, there's no relationship that's guaranteed. People who are in relationships, even, there's no guarantee that they're gonna, it's gonna last in long-term relationships. We often hear people breaking up, splitting up, marriage is not working out. This is a proof that. There is no guarantee that things will last forever. This idea of forever, as lovely and beautiful as it sounds, we all want that, right? But oftentimes, it's, it can be a fairy tale idea that it's not true in reality. If you can get used to the idea that friendships, relationships, people come and go in our life, you will become someone who's much more at peace with yourself and the different situations that life can bring. If you can accept to let go, not force any situations. For example, if a guy is telling you that he wants a casual relationship and you want a serious relationship, please believe him. Don't try to convince him otherwise. So often we, especially as women, we think, mm, I need to give him some more time. Once he gets to know me and how cool I am, he'll get come round. He'll want a serious relationship with me. I'm not saying this never happens. I'm sure there are exceptions where it does, but more often than not, you cannot convince someone if to be with you if they don't want to be with you. You shouldn't have to convince someone to want something serious with you when you are someone who can let go of the situation if they're interested in you fine if they're not you'll be quick to move on you're not going to try and convince them you're not going to try and prove to them to be with you no you don't have time for that you value your time you value your life you value the precious precious life that you have you're not going to try and waste it trying to prove someone to be with you you can let goal of situation. This makes you freaking attractive. This is what is going to make a guy second guess why he's not showing as much interest back to you. If you're trying to persuade someone to be with you, don't, don't, don't. Practice detachment. Practice to let go of a situation. And you will see when you take that chilled approach, like, okay, you're not going to text me back. Cool. I'm not going to try and convince you. I'm not going to text you three times. No. I know my worth. If you're not going to show me the same amount of interest back, I'm not going to take it personally. 
It probably is because we're not compatible. It probably is because there's other people out there I can be a match with and I'm not going to try and convince you. If you can have this mentality, that abundance mentality, letting go of the current situation, if it's not working for you, you will become freaking attractive. You will become irresistible. Don't try and convince a guy to be with you. It's not worth it. Don't try and beg for his attention. No, you have so much to offer. You deserve someone who's going to like you the same amount that you like them. I hope these tips have been useful for you. Let me know. Comment below. I'd love to hear from you. I hope you're all doing really well. I'm sending you my love and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. Bye.